Let me start by apologizing uh, because the way I'm going to solve 5.4 uh, is a bit uh, gangster. But let's see what happens. So the question is saying that a 12 kg block is initially addressed at point A, uh, A at the bottom of a rough inclined plane. So we know that we have frictional force. The block is pulled up the incline by constant force f acting parallel to the incline so we don't have to resolve the force uh, the block uh, reaches point b which is at a vertical height of 4.5 uh, meters above the horizontal uh, with a speed of 2.5 meters per second uh, see the diagram below uh, the first question 5.1 says that let's uh, define the term non-conservative force and i'm just gonna leave that for you and then 5.2 we asked to draw a free body diagram for the block when it is pulled up the incline right so let's go ahead and do that so clearly there when the block is being pulled up the incline uh, there's a force f there's an applied force right which is acting parallel to the incline uh, but then because it's resting on a surface we must have uh, a normal force perpendicular to the surface right uh, and then obviously we're gonna have uh, gravity right so we're gonna have weight there and then since the incline is a bit rough then let's have a uh, frictional force so we have uh, fr there yeah i think now we can solve uh, 5.3 so 5.3 is saying that calculate the work done on the block by the non-conservative forces when the block uh, moved from point a to b so we know fully well that work net is equal to the change in ek right uh, but then what is another way we can represent work net uh, work net can be work done by non-conservative forces plus the work done by conservative forces being equals to the change in ek that is one over two um uh, vf squared minus vi squared right so we're looking for the work done by the non-conservative uh, forces right so we're going to see a so let's leave that as a variable we're going to have the work done by the non-conservative forces plus the work done by the conservative forces right uh the conservative the conservative force that is acting there which we are supposed to calculate the work for is gravity right uh since we don't have uh the length of a b we're gonna use the height in standard so if we use the height uh because gravity is gonna be pulling the object down as it is moving up right we're gonna put a minus sign there so we're gonna have uh the force due to gravity right uh that is the mass multiplied by gravity the weight right and then multiply by delta x the height right the height is 4.5 right uh we've already put a minus sign here so there's no re there's no need for us to say cos of uh, 180 and this is going to be cos to a half the mass is 12 and then vf is 2.25 we square that to minus uh, zero squared right so now we can say that the work done by non-conservative forces will be equals to so we have a half 12 uh, multiply by 2.25 squared basically plus uh, 12 multiplied by 9.8 uh, multiplied by 4.5 right so now it's just a matter of putting this in the calculator and I'm getting 5.559 uh, I meant 0.575 uh, joules let's go ahead and move to 5.4 so uh, 5.4 is saying that uh, the same constant force f now moves the block at a constant velocity so constant velocity we know for the while that uh, the work net is going to be equal to zero right because the change in kinetic energy is going to be zero if we have constant velocity across a rough horizontal surface from point b to point c uh, so we have friction also force fx parallel to the horizontal surface so uh, force f is still intact right and then uh, what else do you have um, the magnitude of the constant frictional force acting on the block while moving from point b to c is uh, 42 newtons 
uh, is 42 newtons larger than the magnitude of the constant frictional force acting on the block when it is moved from point A to B. And then let's calculate the distance from A to B. We're going to say that uh, work net is equals to EK, right? The change in EK. But we know that the change in EK is supposed to be equals to zero because uh, it is moving at a constant velocity. So here, the work net is going to be uh, the work done by the force applied plus the work done uh, by the friction, right? Which is equals to uh, zero, basically. But then we can go ahead and, you know, solve this uh, way further, right? So if we do that, we're going to get uh, force applied uh, minus the frictional force, right? multiplied by the distance they're traveling. What is the distance they're traveling? Uh, it is BC, right? Multiplied by BC being equals to zero. Uh, but this is what I'm going to do here, right? This frictional force that is here, we know that it is 42 neutrons larger than the frictional force in 5.3, right? So if we call the frictional force in 5.3 uh, Fx, right? So if we let that frictional force in, so let's, you know, write it down. Let's say uh, we let in the frictional force in uh, 5.3 be equals to fx right if we do that uh, then fa uh, minus uh, fx minus uh, 42 will then be multiplied by bc will be equals to zero right clearly from our sketch uh, bc is not equals to zero right uh, but then we don't even have to make that assumption we can just see uh, bc is equals to zero or uh, FA minus FX minus 42 is equals to zero, right? So FA, uh, this is FX. What am I writing? Let me, let's be very precise. This is FX. So FA minus FX is equals to, uh, 42, uh, newtons, right? Uh, we know that for sure. So we see that. <laughs> The force applied minus the frictional force in 5.3 is equal to uh, 42 newtons. Let's go to back to 5.3 so that I can show you something. Here in 5.3, we ended up seeing that uh, the work done by non-conservative forces is equal to 559.575 joules, right? But then, which forces are we talking about when we say non-conservative forces? We're talking about the frictional force which is fx right and the applied force which is fa so here we can change that and instead write uh force applied minus um fx right multiply by delta x delta x is a b right uh multiply by a b is equals to 559.575 joules right but then here we see that fa minus fx is equals to 42 so we can just replace this with 42 so we're gonna have 42 multiplied by a b being equals to 559.575 mm -hmm. if we divide both sides by 42 we get a b is equals to 13.32 uh, meters right 